Welcome to this tutorial on managing discrepancies within Oracle Clinical. In our previous session, we discussed the process of performing data entry within Oracle Clinical using the data entry subsystem. For this, we used a physical examination case report form, which is a completed case report form you, uh, which has been received from the investigative side. During the process of entry of this case report form, we identified some discrepancies or errors within it. For example, the examination date was not miss or not present. The unit of weight was not provided. The value for blood pressure, systolic blood pressure was illegible. For the response to the body system appearance, normal and abnormal was both marked, but abnormal was crossed out and not signed and dated. Multiple responses were provided for the response to chest, whereas only one of the response was expected. And fundoscopy, was not marked at all. The response to fundoscopy was not provided, whereas it, it was a mandatory field. So these were the different kinds of errors that we identified within, uh, within the data entry process. And for each of these errors, the discrepancy was raised. In some case, a manual discrepancy was created by the data entry operator by raising an operator comment. For example, for examination date, for illegible data, for data being crossed out and not signed and dated and for multiple responses being provided for these situations as per our data entry guidelines we raised manual discrepancies through operator comments for some situations discrepancies was raised by the system because the answer provided to the questions did not meet the attribute defined for the questions for example for the unit of height uh, the a discrepancy was raised and this discrepancy actually was because the length was greater than five digits in length. Similarly, a discrepancy was raised for the unit of weight, which was a mandatory question, but its response was not provided. And the same is true for fundoscopy, where the response to the body system fundoscopy was a mandatory question, but since this response was not provided, a discrepancy was raised for it. These discrepancies that are raised at a data entry level are then stored within the discrepancy database. Just to show you the discrepancies, I'm just going to go into data entry, browse, and just let's look at some of the discrepancies that were created because of this form. The form is for patient number N5 for the physical examination PE underscore triple Z. And when I execute this query, it fetches me my data entry screen. Now this data entry screen, as we can see, there were so many different discrepancies. The first one, there is an operator comment, which was raised because the DCI data, the date of examination was not provided. There's a univariate discrepancy, which was raised because the expected length is greater than five digits. We can see the, all these discrepancies by going into special. You can see the operator comment also. The operator comment was raised because of an invalid or missing visit date on the CRF, which is this one. And the univariate discrepancy or the discrepancy that was raised by the system for this, this field can be seen by showing uh, display univariate discrepancy. So it tells us that this was raised because the height exceeded the expected length of five. So similarly, we can see all these fields that are yellow in color have discrepancies associated with them and the type of discrepancies that are there, whether they are manual through operator comments or whether they are univariate is, uh, is kind of defined within the title bar of the form. It tells us what type of discrepancy it is. But all these discrepancies that are generated after production data has been entered will be available in the discrepancy database. So uh, before I go into the discrepancy database, I just want to tell you something which is discussing in the previous session is that at a data entry level, multivariate discrepancies or discrepancies raised because of a validation procedure were not created. For example, if we see on this form, uh, the, the, a discrepancy was not created for this scenario where response was marked as normal and description of findings was still provided. A description, uh, discrepancy was also not created for the scenario where response was marked as abnormal and description of findings was not provided. And for lungs also, response is marked as not examined, yet a description of findings is provided. So for these situations, the validation procedures that you have to have created will run overnight as a bad job 
and will trigger the discrepancies on this form. We can also run these validation procedures manually. We can go into the definition subsystem, validation procedures, go to maintain procedures where we had activated them. We'll query for our validation procedures that end with triple Z. Ideally, you will not need to do this because this, these procedures will run as bad jobs. They will automatically, all the procedures in a study will run overnight on the data that is being entered. But if you want